Okay, so right now I'm going to be continuing on from the last video. If you didn't see that video, then I please implore you to check it out. But, I mean the last Deltune video, but um, pretty much in that video I stated that, um, you know, all my stuff about Chris. But at points I talked about Rousey, and the reason I didn't finish all that is because I wanted to make it a video for today. So that's where I'm at now. Rousey is a very mysterious character in Deltrune. We don't know nothing about him, we just know that they look like Azriel, that, and they are the Prince of the Dark, supposedly. That's actually really all we know about the character. Uh, I'm, today I'm going to cover two theories about what I think Rousey could be. There are going to be two separate theories. The first one is going to be the one that I said in my Deltrune Explained video. Um, so I'll cover that, but the second one is a theory that I just found out about and could be a really good one and one that might actually answer a, a couple questions. But anyway, let's just go, uh, start with this with my first theory about Rousey. So Rousey is extremely different to other party members. We know that they are a darkner because they pretty much only live in the dark, that's when we only see them. And that's pretty much uh, they live in the dark they like Chris a lot they love hanging out with him and that's it um because and also we know that Rousey's uh, name in the, is an anagram for Azriel now people have been on constantly saying this to me but they've been saying like oh Rousey is Azriel but I I don't buy it because for one we know for a fact Azriel is in college everybody in town knows that Azriel's going to come back um, soon. Even Sans knows that, so everybody knows that Asriel is gone from the town, he, or at least he's in college. We know all that, and plus, I, like, um, one thing that really stands out to me about Rousey and why they're not Asriel is because every single time, um, Rousey, like, gets knocked or dies, even when they, you know, f uh, show you what they look like, they still just show up as a a pile of nothing but a hat and a scarf. Why would they do that if that's Asriel? Like, when Susie and Chris go down, they're lightners, but they go down by crouching or sitting down. Rousey just immediately explodes and evaporates. I don't get it. Like, there's no way that's Asriel, unless Asriel has transformed into a darkner. But either way, I don't think that's the case. Again, Asriel's in college. We know Chris has taught him on camera um, while they're in college because Alfie says that because the internet's down, um, he hasn't been able to talk to Asriel. And we, again, we know all this for a fact. And plus, people have been also saying Asriel's tonight, but I already covered that in my last video. But uh, how, how would Asriel be able to sneak around town and nobody notice and tell Chris, hey, your brother's back? It just boggles my mind uh, a little bit because I don't I don't really buy this theory. I don't think Rousey is Asriel, but here is my theory. Rousey is sort of Asriel. Rousey is the this is my first theory. Rousey is the version of Asriel Chris wants to remember. I covered this in my explained video, but pretty much it's the version of Chris that Asriel want uh, used to hang out with. The one that uh, they used to create dark worlds with. The one that um, the one that Chris would just hang out with all the time. I feel like that's, um, that's the, a really good theory that Rousey is a manifestation of what Chris remembers Asriel to be. Because remember, Chris is creating these dark worlds and what I think Rousey is sort of like, again, a manifestation of that. The fun part of Asriel that Chris remembers hanging out with. It will explain why Asriel always, um, well, uh, Rousey, sorry. It will explain why Rousey always wants to be around Chris and do all this fun stuff with Chris. Especially on during the boat ride where they're like, oh, it's just nice to be here. And that would explain why they say, I don't know what being Rousey-like is. Because they wouldn't. They wouldn't know what Rousey-like is because they are Asriel. They are like a little Asriel, so they wouldn't know what being Rousey is. They know what being Asriel is. And I feel like that would fully explain that line. Um, I feel like that's a really good one. The only thing... That it wouldn't explain though, and this is the only reason why my theory might be off. And again, that's why I have a second theory that people have also been commenting and, and saying about, which I kind of like too, is that when you, okay, so when you drink the tea, so in the Dale 2 in chapter 2, you can buy tea of any character, and when you give it to any character, usually it gives them health back, and depending on what characters, it gives a different amount of health. 
And usually the same characters even out, like Noel and Susie even out each other. Well, actually, I don't think you can see Noel's reaction to Susie T, but pretty much it, they all even out. Um, Chris and Susie even out, Rousey and Susie even out. But for some reason, Chris and Rousey don't. Chris only gains four, if I remember correctly, I'll put it in the comments if I didn't, but Chris only gains 40 health when they drink Rousey tea. Yet, Rousey gains 120 from Chris T. It would make no sense if this is at, if this is like a version of Azrael Chris likes. It wouldn't make sense because of that. Why would he? Why would he? Uh, why would they get like less health? I it honestly just doesn't make sense. Unless we go into this next theory, which could make sense and could answer that question. But um, just to recap the first theory. Theory number one. Um, Rousey is a version of Asriel that Chris wants to remember and has manifested in this dark world as that. A version of Asriel that used to play with Chris. That is the first theory. The second theory is that Rousey is the red horns that Chris bought and is basically Chris's goat sona, I guess? I don't know what you describe it as, but yeah, I've seen this theory come around and it could make sense. So far, I don't know if it's 100% true, but it could make sense. It's basically what Chris wanted to be in his go family, the reason like he bought the horns and everything. It would make sense because if you see Rousey's horns, they are literally red. Like, they're pinkish red, sure, but that could be basically the color that the red horns that they got um, were. And it could be a one-off joke, like, oh, they're just demon horns, lol, and, you know, Chris, um, you know, Chris may be, like, you know, a darker character, but... I really think that that might be also a case too that the because Toyo asked where did they ever go and maybe that's what happened to them maybe Chris still wears them in every single dark world you go um pretty much that's what happens um the horns detach and form Rousey that would be that would be actually really cool if that was the case but that's why I kind of believe and it would make sense of why Chris's T is less than uh, well why Rousey T is uh, heals less than Chris T because like Rousey it, it would be literally Chris himself and like obviously he um loved the other version but Chris might not like um the old version who wants who wanted to aspire to be Asriel because I think that's the case that he aspires to be Asriel so that's why he wore the horns and kind of pretended to be a go and everything and would kind of also be cool too uh, it, do it does make, like, some, um, contradictories, though. Like, for example, Chris, like, uh, for example, like, plays, like, human under the bed or something. Um, like, he did that as a prank against Noel, but maybe that was before he even got the demon horns, to be honest. And it would, again, make sense because Chris doesn't like that old version of him, maybe. And that's why. And it would, again, make sense of why Rousey doesn't know what being Rousey-like is. Because Rousey isn't Rousey-like. Rousey is Chris, a young version of Chris, a Chris who aspired to be like his family, a Chris who wanted to fit in and everything. And again, this will also make sense of when you go into a library at the end of the game and you check through the book, as soon as Chris looks at any humans, he turns, he just um, closes the book immediately. Maybe Chris doesn't want to be reminded that he's human. He wants to be like his family, but he doesn't want to be reminded of that. It would make sense for that reason too. I feel like that could be it could be a really wacky theory, but it could be possible that Rousey like is the demon or like all the demon horns that Chris had as a child and thus it's now become this own character, this own person, another version of Chris, a young Chris who aspired to be like his family, his his brother, and everything else. It would honestly make a lot of sense, especially for the T part. I don't know if it makes sense for a lot of other stuff. Let me know because I'm rambling right now. I don't actually know fully any like context. Maybe you guys have like some answers, like for example, this part of evidence or you have something that contradicts what I said. But yeah, that's about my two theories on what Rousey is or who Rousey is. And um, that would make a lot of sense. So let me reinstate the two theories. The first theory, um, Rousey is a, is a representation of Asriel that Chris wants to remember as a child. And it, it will make a lot of evidence considering how 
like Ralph C. Axe and Zayn going for Asriel and all that stuff. Or it could be that Chris is a man, Ralph C. is a manifestation of Chris's younger self who wanted to be like his family. Uh, they aren't physical, we know that. They cannot come to the light world, at least not, like, um, they can't come to the light world, like, actually, because they do not have a body, they just turn into, um, turn into, like, carpet sheet, like, you know, sheet and everything. And it would be insane if the reason the hat still falls down, or, like, the scarf still falls down, is because inside that scarf is the devil horns. That would be wacky if that's the case. I imagine, like, um... Ralsei, like, actually die. Like, I'm not just gonna, like, be like, oh, I hope Ralsei dies, but, like, what if Ralsei dies, Susie goes out to pick their scarf up, and then the devil horns fall out, and then she's like, hey, wait, Chris, isn't this your, like, horns from like, when you were younger or something? That would be insane. But, anyway, that's just a theory. I'm, uh, um, I, I hate saying that. Um, uh, JK theory, yeah. And, um, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video too. Uh, it's a lot shorter than the other one I made, but it's because I had basically only two ideas for this and wanted to make it a shorter one. But that's my theory on what um, Rousey is. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, almost at 1k people. So let's go. Yeah. Um, also tell me in the comments what other theories you like to hear me say because... Right now, those are the two main ones I wanted to talk about, but if there are any other ones or any that I think of, I'll make sure to make a video on that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.